A broken fibula? Jesus. Oh my God. What if Barry Bonds never took steroids? In this video today, we are going to find out because we are going to use Baseball Mogul and we are going to simulate from when he took steroids. It is 98 or 99, depending on if you're looking at uh, ESPN or the Washington Post. So we're going to take 1998 as the first season in our new simulation to see what Barry Bonds can do from that point moving forward. A lot of people argue that Barry Bonds uh, would have been a Hall of Famer without steroids. Let's see. Uh, up to that point, that he was a Hall of Famer up to that point. Well, that's a whole different argument, and, and that may be true with a couple MVPs. I think it's three MVPs before that uh, 98 season. Uh, 98 was when he reconnected with Greg Anderson as personal trainer, and that uh, got the whole ball started. So we are going to do this thing again. We're going to simulate. We're going to start with 1998, Barry Bonds, baseball mogul. We are going to run through, and we are going to see what kind of numbers Barry can put up. Let's go. All right, here we go. It is 1998. The Giants hope to improve in 98. All right, sounds good. Let's take a look at Barry real quick. There he is hitting behind Kent and ahead of JT Snow. Barry Bonds to this point. 374 home runs, 1,750 hits, three MVPs, seven gold gloves, seven all-stars. So yeah, that's where your argument comes from. You know, he was a Hall of Famer before he started taking steroids. So here we go. We're going to run through this thing. Uh, and when we're done, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison between what Barry Bonds did here and what he did in real life. Now, he is entering his age 33 season. Will there be a drop-off? We will find out. Let's go. Let us do season one of the Barry Bonds run-through, re-sim, redo on his career here we go. Let's get this thing moving again. 1998. Let's go. All right. We have just finished the all-star break. We have just come out of the all-star break. The Giants are 48 and 40, but more importantly, Barry Bonds to this point, 15 home runs, a 261 batting average, 15 home runs in 1998 in real life. He hit 37 home runs. So, not totally off the pace, but, you know, uh, maybe trending a little bit behind. Let's get through and simulate the rest of the season. Let's get to the end of the year and see how it plays out for Barry. All right, 1998 is over, and the Giants finished 85 and 77, second place in the West, eight games back. Barry Bonds with 27 home runs. 91 runs driven in, 94 runs scored, 15 out of 17 steals. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a down year. Again, uh, in real life, 37 home runs was his 1998 output. So a little bit of a down year there. Still uh, 400 home runs this year. And that's the major milestone. Yep, 400 home runs. So let's continue on. We will do 1999 next. All right, here we go. It is 1999. We've got the Giants poised to make a run in the West. We've got Barry Bonds with a 91 overall rating, still looking good for the rating at the age of 34. 27 home runs last year, 10 off of his real-life pace. We're going to simulate 1999 to see how Barry does in real life, 1999, he only played 102 games, but hit 34 home runs. 99 was uh, for sure at the at the very latest when all of the steroids began. It was either 98 or 99. Uh, it just depends on when you want to believe he reconnected with his old personal trainer and started using uh, or not. So here we go with 99. <laughs> 
Let's take a break as we get to the end of July. So 55 and 52, five games back for the Giants. But let's take a look at Barry Bonds now that we are in a, uh, we're at the All-Star break. Uh, a bounce back season compared to the prior year, right? So we've got 100 games. He played 102 games in real life. He doesn't look like he's going to have any injury issues like he did uh, in 99 in real life. 23 home runs. So the home run pace is picked up from 98. The batting average is back up. It's back up to 280. He's knocking on the door uh, for his 2000th hit, 1,957. So we will keep moving along and see if he can get that. Should be able to get that. Uh, 2000th hit this season, about 43 away. Let's go through to the end of the season and see how Barry's doing. All right, the season is done. 79 and 83. Barry Bonds did get hurt. Barry Bonds did go down with an injury, a collarbone issue, was sidelined for five weeks through August. Ends up playing 122 games, only 20 more games since the end of July. Goes for 28 home runs, a 279 average, 111 hits. So he's still 21 hits away from 2,000, which. We'll look for him to get uh, next year. But 28 home runs over 122 games. Again, in real life in 99, he went for 34 homers over 102 games. We're going to start to get into big numbers now. 2000 is when things started to pick up for him. 49 homers in 2000. And then it was 2001, he hit 73. So this is not headed in that direction but let's keep moving and see maybe there's a maybe there's a bounce back. Let's keep going. Let's get to the year 2000. All right, we are ready to do this the year 2000. And we're starting to see a decline in Barry's overall, 82. It was 91 last year. It's down to an 82 as he is 35 and maybe starting to see a regression that would have been normal. Maybe. Let's see what we can do. I, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to worry about injuries creeping in here. Uh, he did miss some games last year, 122. Still more than he played in real life um, in that 99 season, but this is a big year. Uh, 2000, he hit 49 home runs in 2000 in real life. How's he going to do in this simulation? Again, no steroids. We're going to simulate through to the uh, to the All Star break. We'll see how he's doing. All right, it is the end of July. Uh, we went we went through the All Star break because Barry Bonds is hurt, injured, uh, a broken tibia that he suffered back in uh, in May. He is going to be back in August, but he has missed July. He missed June. He missed May. He played April, and that was it. So we're going to be interested to see what he could do the rest of the way. But and, and we'll simulate it, and while we simulate it, we'll talk. I mean. We're seeing it here. Uh, the age, the injuries, they're catching up to him. Uh, to this point now, nine home runs, 50 hits. He's got his 2,000 hits, nine home runs. So he's up to 438. But this is just a different Barry. Uh, the overall has climbed back up to 85. So that's good. Gives me hope for a, a productive 2021 season. But we're nowhere near the the type of numbers that he was putting up in real life at this point. All right, we are done with the season now. Giants not doing well. Barry with just 12 home runs in 2000. 78 hits again in the year 2000. He hit 49. Next one's the big one. 2001 is the big one. That's when he hit 73 home runs. What? Uh, obviously, we're, we're not going to see that happen. So let's get through. We're going to simulate through the playoffs. We'll simulate through the offseason. And let's see what 2001 has in store for Barry Bonds. All 
right, it's 2001. It is the year Barry Bonds broke the single season home run record. He is not trending in that direction right now. Uh, he's got, that's not him. He's got an 81 rating, which is all right. Uh, but the power is leaving him. Uh, and, and injuries have become a problem. Uh, 122 games in 99, uh, 79 games in 2000. The power, 28 home runs, 12 home runs. So what are we going to get from Barry? Looking at milestones that we could keep an eye out for. I mean, 1,500 runs should happen this year. He's only 19 away. Not going to come anywhere near 3,000 hits. Uh, he got his 400th double last year. 441 home runs. So maybe we can get to 500 in a couple of seasons if he still, if he still has it. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, this, is, this is the big year. This is the year that a lot of baseball historian fans would love to undo. Let's go. We're going to simulate Barry Bonds 2001. Again, uh, like we've done in these other ones, we're going to go to the trade. Um, we're going to go to the uh, All-Star break and get that middle point of the season to see how Barry's doing. Let's simulate up to that point. All right, so we come out of the All-Star break, 46 and 44. The good news is he's healthy. He has not missed time to injury. Uh, but 10 home runs in 76 games. Don't think he's going to get to that 73 number. Uh, and remember, he hit 73, and then he also had three straight years of over 40. So he is at 10 right now after 76 games with 73 hits. So 2,100 hits. He's got his 1,500 runs. He's got 450 home runs. I think 500 home runs is going to be a realistic goal because just my experience playing this game, I think we got a good shot to get a couple more years out of him and get him to 500, but he's going to have to stay healthy. Here we go. Let's simulate now to the playoffs, simulate through the rest of the season and see where, where, where does he land. All right, 82 and 80 go the Giants. Barry has got no power left. He goes 136 games, just 12 home runs. There's no power here. Wow. 20 doubles, 12 home runs. He's 47 homers away from 500. He's got no power left. Wow. Oh, man. I'm surprised. I. Wow. Okay. Okay. So there you go. 73 home runs in real life. I mean, at this point, he is showing his age. He's 37. This is when players used to drop off and he's dropping off i mean i hate to say it but his fielding is an issue i might have to trade him i might have to trade barry bonds to an american league team so that he's not out there in the field in fact that's going to happen uh what's the contract situation barry bonds is got one more year. Maybe we do one more year with Bonds and then we trade him. But Barry's not going to finish with the Giants. I can tell you that right now. Let's get through 2001 playoffs and get to the offseason and see what we get from Barry in 2002. I tried to trade him to Oakland, but I cannot find a trade. The, the salary is too high. So we are going to do one more year with Bonds in San Francisco, and then he's going to be a free agent. We will pick a new destination. I tried to get a trade to Oakland, which I think made sense, make him the DH, but Oakland wasn't having it. They wanted Richard really as part of the deal, and I wasn't prepared to do that. So we are going to go through. We are going to do this thing one more year in San Francisco, his swan song with the Giants in 2002, Barry Bonds in real life hit 46 home runs with 110 RBI. That's not going to happen here. So let's go through and again, uh, let's make it to the, and that's not going to happen. Let's going to take it to the All-Star break. 
and see how he does. Here we go. Okay, all star break. Let's check on Barry. Power's just not there. It's all gone. Seven home runs in the first half of the season. So he's up to 460 with 63 hits, a 239 batting average. Again, we got to get him out of the field. Let's see if we can revisit that trade. Actually, here's what we'll do. Let's put Barry Bonds out there. Let's get some counter offers. None. Okay. Anything. Nobody wants Barry Bonds right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorry, Barry. Okay. Moving on. His overall is 77. His salary is like $9 million in, in a year. So, uh, yeah, that's that's why. Uh, no one wants to take that salary. All right, let's go to the playoffs. Let's just make sure the expenses are straight. Okay. Got to keep that medical staff up. Got to keep Barry healthy. All right. Let's do this thing to the end of the year. Giants not going to make the playoffs. Just want to keep Bonds healthy to get some uh, some numbers here. Yeah, he's going to miss September. Oh, he, missed, he missed two weeks early September, and then he was back. All right, so the Giants, 67-95, not a good year. Barry Bonds, 13 home runs, 106 hits. I'll be honest with you. If he doesn't get to 500 home runs... Oh, man. I guess not yet. He's still a Hall of Famer. I, I can't say that. I was going to – you could tell I'm going down that road saying he's not a Hall of Famer. But it's the three MVPs in the early 90s, you know, I mean, it's a big drop-off, though. This is a big drop. Uh, we're going we're gonna to move on. Let's go through the postseason. I'm going to stick – stay here right with you guys because we are going to enter into a Barry Bonds free agency. So let's get to the free agent period uh, and make a few moves. There goes Barry. Barry's released. Okay, we got to find a home for Barry. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Let's look at Oakland. One-year deal. $2 million. Barry to Oakland. This is where we're at. All right. Let's go through. Get to spring training. 2003 is where we're headed with Barry Bonds. In real life, Barry Bonds in 2003, 45 home runs in 2003 with the San Francisco Giants at the age of his age 38 season. Uh, with San Francisco, we have had to move on, and we are now in Oakland with Barry Bonds because it just we needed to move him to an American League team where he could DH because that's 63 on defense. Isn't going to cut it anymore. So we've got him. We're, we're 34 home runs away from 500. Can he get to that is at this point what we're wondering. Let's go through to – I want to make sure that Bonds doesn't get, doesn't get benched. So we're going to simulate a month here and just take a, take a look and see. Uh, there he is. Oof. Two home runs but a 197 batting average. <laughs> Oof. All right, let's do another month with Oakland. Not looking good here. Again, 2003 was 45 home runs. Barry is showing his age. Four home runs, hitting 158. Just has not worked out well for Bonds. This simulation is not going well for him at all. All right, trade deadline coming up. We're through that. We're in the beginning of August. Let's see how Barry's doing. Barry is nothing. It, he's a shell of himself. Four. He's nothing. And now he's hurt. How long is he hurt for? He has a wrist fracture. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. He'll be back in a couple days. Obviously, it's not serious. I mean, this, is, this, this would be it. This would be the end of the career. This is it. Guy, it's it. Um... It doesn't matter who who is the players. That's it. Barry Bonds is done. It is over. 71 hits, four home runs, a 182 batting average with Oakland 
in 2003, his age 39 season. In real life in 2003, he put up 45 home runs. 2004, he hit another 45 home runs. 2005, he was hurt. 2006, he hit 26 home runs at the age of 41. And at the age of 42, he hit 28 home runs in 2007. We're not going to get there. We're He's done. It is 2003. We had to take him to Oakland because we needed to get him into the American League to DH. And he can't. It's over. I mean, it and it and really it ended back in 2000. Wow, that is wow, 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 wow. Okay, there you go. And again, the side by side, which is what I said we would do. Let's see if I can get this in here. Here are the numbers from his career, looking past. Again, 98 is when we took over. In 98 real life, he hit 37 home runs. Here he hit 27. In 99, he hit 34. Here he hit 28. And in 2000, he hit 49 home runs. Here he hit 12, 12 and 13, where he went 49, 73, and 46. So a big drop, a big drop without a steroid simulation. Now, is he still a Hall of Famer? Is the question. Uh, listen, he's got the, 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 the three MVPs. Only has eight All-Star games. The seven gold gloves. So he did. He, he's had one All-Star game since we took over. I don't see... And listen, this is a big drop-off. We've seen guys that have drop-offs like this. And they don't get into the Hall of Fame. I mean, I can't say definitively. I mean, three MVPs is tough to pass on, though. So probably still a Hall of Famer is what I would say. Probably still a Hall of Famer for Barry Bonds, but that's it. It's it's a wrap. Barry Bonds, without steroids, has two okay seasons and then obscurity for three, four years. 250, 244, 12, 12, 13. You know, it gets to 16, 82. Uh, in runs, 2368 for hits, 444 doubles, 470 home runs. Doesn't even get to 500 home runs. 1400 RBI. See, I mean, he's, if he's okay, he's a Hall of We will, he is, we will give him Hall of Fame status from this simulation. Still, with 1400 plus uh, RBI, with 1600 plus runs scored, with 470 home runs in a world where steroids never happened. 470 home runs still means something. A 276 lifetime batting average. Those three MVPs, probably still a Hall of Famer. But big difference. The career goes in a big, big different way. All right, everybody. That is it for this one. Let me know what you think. Comment below. How would Bonds do? How do you think he would do? Is he a Hall of Famer? Is Barry Bonds a Hall of Famer? Now, this is coming out before... The vote for his 10th and final year on the ballot. So he may be a Hall of Famer by the time you see this. Or he may have got not been uh, voted in. And if he wasn't voted in, do you think he should get in? Will he get in with the committee down the road? All of that we will have to wait and see again. All right. Anybody curious did a second simulation for Barry Bonds? <laughs> a broken fibula? Jesus. Oh my God. Here is the screen. Basically, uh, a similar thing happened where it completely fell off. We left him in San Francisco for 2003. He hit one home run. He had nothing left. Uh, 2002, he got hurt. 2003, he had nothing left. Uh, 2001, just 12 home runs. Did have a 40 homer season that first year of the simulation in 98, but that was it. It was no good. For Barry, again, same thing happened in the second simulation. We saw the big drop off in uh, in performance and ability and power, all of that. So 2003, again, in the second simulation, that's it. Guys, I truly appreciate you. Ball Cap Nation, I, I salute you. Thank you for your support. Uh, I will keep doing these things. If you like these things, hit that like. We did an Otani career simulation. We're doing bonds without steroids. We can do Vladdy. We can do other things. Hit that like if you like this, and uh, and we can keep doing some of this stuff. Uh, but let me know 
if you're liking it. Uh, again, thank you very much for spending some time with the channel. I do appreciate it. I will add some links to some of the other content for you to check out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching the video.